Hello my friends, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at version 0.1.26 of Como Rebi, the tiling window manager for Windows, and all of the cool stuff that you have to look forward to when you upgrade. Let's get started with the Como Rebi GUI. So if you've been watching the channel recently, you'll have seen the mini series where we created this little graphical user interface. And now you can launch this by typing C GUI. Uh, it pops on up here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because we have literally just put out four or five hours of videos uh, on this. Uh, but there's some cool debugging tools that tell you why a program is or isn't managed. So if we look at Komorebi GUI here, you can see that I have a float rule that says when the executable is Komorebi GUI uh, should manage, uh, should be false. Really cool, it's going to help you figure out uh, why certain windows are or aren't managed when you're writing rules. Uh, we can do things like change border colors, uh, we can change border styles, width, offsets, all sorts of stuff. Uh, we have stack bar stuff here as well. You can change your offsets. Uh, there are various things that you can set on your workspaces. And so, you know, if you want to play around with things in a way that doesn't require editing JSON, like, you know, if you're just trying things out and you want immediate visual feedback, really, really cool and useful debugging tool. So that was the GUI. Next, let's talk about borders. So for a long time, Komorebi has had focused window borders where you, you basically you get an active window border, right? One border on the active window. But now, look at this, there is now another border here, the border for an unfocused window. Pretty, pretty cool, right? So now we have multiple borders, like a real tiling window manager. So I, I really like this, I'm a big fan. Uh, it just, it feels complete, you know, it feels complete. So you can set your own custom color for this by going into the border colors configuration here and now you'll have another one pop up alongside single stack and monocle which is unfocused. It defaults to that grayish color that I showed earlier. You can have another look at that here. Um, and yeah, I, I think this it's a little thing that makes a huge difference and you know, we we did a lot of, let's say, architectural overhaul to make this possible. And if you are interested in that, keep an eye out for the Border Manager Architectural Breakdown video coming soon on this channel. I, I think it is really, really interesting. And if you if you have an interest, uh, you know, into how a tiling window manager is made, uh, especially on Windows, uh, I think you're going to get a lot, a lot out of it. Uh, next up, uh, window titles in stack bar tabs. Uh, you may have noticed this already. Uh, up here, we have the window titles now, and this is an option that you can set on a stack bar. So now there is this label configuration option. And this can be either process or title. So we have title set, pretty cool, but this actually updates in real time. So I go to Google, it says Google. I go to, I don't know, Yahoo, and it goes to Yahoo. Pretty, pretty cool. I like this one a lot as well. Again, it's a little kind of a flourish, maybe we can say. Yeah, it's like a little flourish that again makes us feel like a real big boy tiling window manager. Uh, as well, what is next? Hmm. Alp 
tab support. So this is something people have been at me, going at me for a long time. You know, they're like, I do alt tab and like it doesn't change the workspace properly and it's really annoying. So now you don't have to worry about that anymore, right? So if I go to workspace two, I have another window open. If I head back to workspace one and try and open it from alt tab, it has switched the workspace properly. You don't have to do anything anymore. It just, it just works. So another little thing that is hopefully gonna make a huge, huge difference. As we have been uh, just, you know, doing stuff on the desktop during this video, you may have noticed a huge reduction in flicker. Flickering has been greatly, greatly reduced in this release. Um, we have done some optimizations about when we're drawing both the monitors and the windows. It's just much, much more pleasant now, especially when using JetBrains IDEs. Now, in this view, this view that we started with that we have up on the screen now, you might have noticed that we have some very aesthetic space on the side, these horizontal offsets. And so this is also a brand new feature. These are custom window based offsets. Uh, and let's take a look in the config at how those work. So these are set at the monitor configuration level. And so the option is called window based work area offset. And especially if you have an ultra wide or a super ultra wide monitor, what this will do is when you only have one window on the screen, it will add these offsets to the left and to the right. And, you know, especially when you're in an editor and you only have the single window on an ultra wide monitor, it spreads out really far and like you're just looking to the left really far because that's where most of your code is. This, this option is specifically for times like those. And honestly, I can't live without it now. I, I love it so much. Uh, if you're on like a super duper ultra, ultra wide monitor, right? You can set this to two or three, which means that actually, why don't we just demo this? So here we go, that updated. So now that same, up, that same offset will get applied uh, when you have two two windows on the on the monitor on the workspace, but if I add another window here, so we have three windows, that offset uh, does not apply anymore. So I don't have a super duper ultra wide monitor, just a regular ultra wide monitor. So I like to leave that at one, so that when I have two windows, they take up half of the screen each. Um, besides that, there have been so many improvements to monocle mode. Uh, I think the one that I will showcase here is that now, when you have, let's just talk about the setup quickly. When you have multiple windows on a workspace, let's add another one, and you put one of them into monocle mode, as I'm doing here, when you close this window now, it will it will bring the workspace back and it just it knows what has happened. So before things could get a little bit wacky if you if you did something like this, a lot of the, the monocle mode behavior was a little bit wacky. Like if you went from a monocle container on one monitor to another monitor and you tried to come back, like there's a whole bunch of weirdness. You can look in the release notes and just like grep monocle for all of these fixes. The experience is greatly, greatly enhanced now. Um, and you should check it out if you haven't been using monocle mode much until now. Uh, this this is your wake up call. You should you should start using it. Uh, so that's that's the main stuff, right? And the next release cycle is shaping up to be super, 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 super exciting. We have already landed uh, a couple of new commands. Uh, so 
this is on the master branch not in the release but okay so we have two new commands right now which are stack all so it will stack everything on a workspace you know maybe you want to do that um and then unstack all magic uh so that's a really cool one and you may have noticed in this video you may have noticed what is this up at the top what is this beautiful not completely opaque little bit transparent beautiful status bar at the top my friends this is the Komorebi bar and we are going to be developing this together on YouTube and we are going to ship something uh, it's going to go through a lot of iteration throughout its time uh, its time its lifetime uh, just as the window manager has but you know people have wanted this for a long time and I I found a stack that I like to do GUI development on Windows so why not let's let's build this together so this is just a really rough proof of concept um, but we're we're gonna take that apart we're gonna build it from scratch we're gonna be talking about the design decisions how we want to handle configuration uh, what sort of traits we want for our widgets all of that sort of stuff and already this is kind of functional right so like if I change workspaces you can see that it is changing automatically and I can also change workspaces by clicking and it does the thing uh, we have different formats when you click on like the clock when you click on the calendar uh, we have on click handlers so this opens up uh, the task manager uh, and we can also open up Explorer from here super cool super super duper cool all right uh, I think that's a pretty good place for us to stop off. I am so excited about this current release. I am so excited about the next release. I am just so excited about the future of this project right now. It's gathered so much momentum. The community is a joy. And you know what? Life, life is good. All right, so we are going to wrap it up by saying thank you to all of the amazing sponsors of this project starting from right to left thank you to tony private sponsor number one azine james pavel efl 1p private sponsor number two juan n friday cesar Bo, grek nia maxwell Sundance, uh, PJHFGGIJ, Hyro, DM1681, Darian, Kwang, Shorefire, Solomon, private sponsor number three, Kilroy, my boy, Evan, Alex, Julian, and Hisayuki. Thank you all so, so much for your ongoing support. If you too would like to join the peoplehood of the sponsors, head on over here, head on over to the sponsor page. Uh, you can be a one-time sponsor, you can be a monthly sponsor, and honestly, even if it's a dollar a month, it makes a huge difference. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise, it makes a huge, huge difference. If, however, if, however, you are not in a position to become a sponsor the very, very next best thing that you can do is make sure that you have hit subscribe on the GZ Codes YouTube channel where I'm guessing you're watching this video right now. We are officially a fully monetized YouTube channel so all the watch time, all the interactions, all of like the couple of seconds of ads that you watch before you hit skip, uh, it really helps out the channel financially. We, we are at like $50 of ad revenue right now. We've only been monetized since February. That's insane. So if you're watching the videos anyway, if you like Homo Rebi, uh, just make sure you're subscribed. It helps out uh, a great, great deal. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being with me. 
uh, through through all of this, right? What a crazy and wild ride. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.